Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm Mary Michelle, founder of Style Finder Boutique, and we are here today with Style Finder Live. Now, to get started today, we're going to be talking about denim, and I'm super excited. I posted actually some really funny pictures. Did you see the pictures I posted yesterday? We've been having some fun with the denim because denim is, well, I think a lot of women get stressed out when you start talking about denim because it can be really, really, really difficult to find a great fitting pair of jeans. So we're gonna break it down for you and help you understand, first of all, what do you look for when you're trying on jeans? Because it's not just walk in the store, find your size and get a pair of jeans. It can be really tricky. So what we're going to do is going to share with you like the certain points to look for. We're gonna go through several different styles, different body types that they're good for, and really help you understand what it takes to get a good fitting pair of jeans and how you can avoid muffin tops, camel toes, and wedgies, because nobody, and I mean nobody, want those. Now, I have to tell you a funny story. I actually got into my closet this morning, and I put on something that I, a pair of um, jeans, they're kind of funky, they're distressed, they're almost like culottes, which I totally love. I got them a couple of years ago, and I've worn them a few times, but I have to admit, actually there was something I got free from one of our vendors, and I love, love, love the way they look, but, even on a good day, they give me a little bit of a muffin top and a camel toe and a wedgie. Nice. I think you should have worn them to show us what... As a style coach, oh, don't tell anybody. But today I'm like, this is it. I am. I almost bad. wore them today <laughs> to, say, to show you what not to do, but I thought, no, they're done. Those things are gone out of my closet. So no more muffin tops, no more camel toes, no more wedgies, because mm. you know what, aside from you know not looking very attractive, oh my gosh, they're so uncomfortable. And who needs that in a pair of jeans, right? So uh, we're going to share with you today, and we want to give you permission, not that you ever, ever need it, but we want to give you permission to let that favorite pair go if they don't feel good. Because I know, I don't know about you, but if I'm wearing a pair of jeans that give me a muffin top or a camel toe or anything else, I just get cranky, you know? I'm like, oh my God, just don't talk to me. I wanna get home, I wanna get these things off. So today we're gonna break it down for you. But Yves Saint Laurent said, I wish I had invented blue jeans. They have expression, modesty, sex appeal, simplicity. All I hope for in my clothes. We agree, we love denim, we love blue jeans, white jeans, black jeans, printed jeans, whatever color. We just love them. And they have become just ubiquitous in our society. There are very few places you can't wear jeans. And even church, I mean, I don't necessarily wear them when I go to church, but I know some people do and you know, it's totally acceptable. I know years ago, uh, it was probably, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, I wore jeans into a country club and they wouldn't let me in. Actually, they weren't even jeans, they were corduroys. They were made like jeans, but they were corduroy. And they said, no, you can't wear these. I'm like, come on, because I had put them together very nicely. My friends looked great. It's not like we walked in there looking grungy and, and beat up. So, but times have changed. I think even country clubs are embracing upscale casual denim. So there is a place for, every, for denim in every woman's wardrobe and but no mom jeans. We're gonna help you avoid the mom jeans. I hope you guys all went and watched the mom jeans video yesterday because that always cracks me up. My son and I love that. Um, no, a couple things I wanna tell you before we get started. Hey Gail, hey Karen, hey Terry. Hi Lane, good to see you. Um, I'm seeing some new faces and I love it. So I hope everybody is staying safe, having a happy Friday. And uh, one thing I wanna start off with is I want to encourage you to whatever you're going through this week, I know we're all in this together. Hey Alice, I want you to take care of you. This is a really, really, really trying time for all of us. And I've found, I mean, I'm an introvert and I'm highly sensitive. I'm also an empath and I've been picking up on all this heavy energy and it's, it's a lot. But even if you're not an empath, if you're just, you know, it's a lot of heavy energy. I've found that I've been sleeping more, I've been wanting to take naps. I think, you know, a lot of people are pushing themselves to get these big projects done and to do things, and that's great. But I wanna encourage you, take care of yourself. Just relax, be easy with yourself, 
take some time out, enjoy a nice cup of tea, spend some time in nature, whatever it takes for you to feel calm and feel grounded and get out of this frenetic chaos because that is just, it's too much for us. You really, we really need to just, you know, step back and just connect with ourselves. So I encourage you today, sometime this weekend, you know, really take some time to take care of yourself, get out in nature and just find peace because it is there. It just may take a little searching for. And when you can do that, you can feel like, you know, we're all going to be okay. We are all going to be okay. Uh, hey, Donna, good to see you. Um, so, so a couple of things I want to share with you before we get started. Today, if, um, as we usually do with any purchase, we would love to have you purchase some things if you feel so inclined. Feel free to call us on the phone. Um, we'll give you the phone number. Um, actually, you can write it down. It's 919-454-3068. You can give us a call once the show's over. We're, we're doing our show right now, so we aren't answering. Um, hi, Irina. Um, so feel free to give us a call. You can send us a message. You can comment below. Actually, give us a comment. Tell us, you know, hey, what you like, what you don't like, what you, what you have questions about, especially as we start talking about our denim tips. What are your questions? Because I will say this, there is no one size fits all and it's different for everybody. So if you've got an individual question that we don't address, feel free to reach out and let us know. We wanna help you. Um, also, we can do FaceTime sessions. We've had so much fun doing FaceTime sessions with our clients and just you know showing them the store. We can only show so much during these videos. And if you know, there's something particular you wanna look for, we'll give you a little tour of the store. Uh, Double L will take you through and help you finish off your outfit, accessorize, make sure you get the right size, make sure you get the right color, all that good stuff. So it's just been a great way where we can all, we can do what we do best, which is our offer our personalized service, really understand what your style is and help you get your needs met. Um, so free shipping with a hundred dollar purchase or more, free pair of earrings to our first five ladies who call in with their order today. And if we complete your order, you get a free pair of earrings today. Uh, also, a, we're donating all of our profits this week to I Am Beautiful Foundation that's gone to help um, several other organizations. We've been able to help the Helene Foundation, the Hope Center for Kids uh, at Poland, which helps foster kids. We've made a private donation, actually two private donations uh, to individuals, uh, one who was helping other feed others and one who was you know, struggling paying her own grocery bill and medicine. So we want to continue to bless others. So just know all the profits from all of our sales this week uh, will go to, to help others. Uh, we're super excited about that. We love being able to give back. And with your help, we can, we can really make a difference. Uh, so I want to share a little community spotlight. Hi, Jean, good to see you. A community spotlight. Uh, this comes from Liza Roper, who she's been a model for us, but she, she's also been a client of ours for several years. We love Liza. Uh, she says the absolute best boutique in Raleigh. The wonderful staff helped me put together outfits that make me feel special. Regardless of your age or size, they will have something that you love. Now, I know you can't come into Style Finder, but you can join us here and, you know, enjoy our virtual fashion show. Or if you want to call and make an appointment, uh, Double L, who is here with me, our store manager, can take you through and she can give you a virtual shopping session. Uh, so give us a call. Let us know if you'd like to do that. It's so much fun. And also, we'd love to feature you. If you have some kind words or want to share something about Style Finder, we'd love for you to go to our uh, Style Finder Boutique Facebook page and leave us a review. And we'll be sharing those here. We love, love, love to hear your feedback and your kind words, and it means so much to us. So today we're sharing uh, not only how to get a great fitting pair of jeans, but the hottest denim looks for the season. So without further ado, I'm gonna tell you about my, well, actually I'm not gonna tell you about my outfit first. I'm gonna tell you about Michelle's outfit first. One thing I will tell you, I wore my own jeans today uh, mm -hmm. that I got from last year. We don't have these in the store right now, but they feel so good. They feel so much better than the jeans I was trying to wear this morning that gave me a muffin top. And you know what happens when you put on a pair of jeans that just feel good? You have a great day, right? You know, it's kind of like having a bad hair day. You have a bad hair day, you're just like, oh, day shot. Hey Kelly, um, but you have a bad jeans day. You're like, oh, let me get home, put on my yoga pants, put on my leggings. 
I want you to find a pair of jeans that you love. In fact, I had a client comment on one of my posts yesterday. She said, I only wear jeans anymore. And, uh, sorry, my son, I think my son's here. Well, he is here and I think he wants to come say hi. Come here, come say hey. I want to introduce, this is Dylan. Come here. Dylan's 13, he is a seventh grader and he has been my walking buddy. He and I have been going on little adventures every day. We've been exploring new walking trails and just finding different places to get out in nature. What's been your favorite so far? Enjoying our park. Yeah, we've been to Joyner Park a few times. We went to, uh, thank you so much, Kelly. You're, I appreciate your message. I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to you. Kelly left me the nicest message the other day and that just meant a, meant a lot. Um, so Dylan's here supervising us today, make, making sure we stay online. Actually, he looked me up on YouTube. He's like, how many followers do you have? I said, probably not very many, but if you want to go follow us on YouTube, <laughs> we are posting these videos on YouTube and you can see some of our past ones. It's, but he somehow discovered one. You want to tell him about the one that you found? It's Stylefinder Boutique, but then there's also Stylefinder ID TV. <laughs> <laughs> From years ago. And he and found a video at shot then. It like five years ago and it had 4,000 views. But what was it about? I don't know. <laughs> they pulled one up this morning from 2014 and it was, the topic was, can you wear a necklace and a scarf? I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot I even shot that. So <laughs> anyway, it's amazing what you can dig up on YouTube and you know, to look at you know, how my hair's changed and topics, the topic is timeless though. So if you wanna know how to wear a necklace and a scarf, go look it up. Um, so, but I, I will tell you about my top because we do have several of these left. This is a fun top. It's got a built-in necklace and it's a little tank. It's just, it's basically got a little, uh, sort of a little shirt tail hem. I, of course I did a little half tuck. And we have some of these on the sale rack. We only have medium, but we have, we have two mediums. We have them on the sale rack and they're $23. So that's the only thing I have on that we have available right now. But I will show you one thing I have on, I don't know if you can see, I have on um, wide leg jeans and so a little bit of a flare. What are these boot cuts? That's okay. what I'm trying to say. Boot cuts have been really, really, really popular. And sadly, we don't have any in the store at the moment. We will definitely be getting them in for fall. Hey, Vanessa, um, we'll definitely have them in for fall. I love them because I'm tall and sometimes I just want a fuller leg. It also helps to create balance because I have hips. I'm an hourglass. <clears throat> And it used to be that I would tell my clients who were hourglasses that they needed boot cuts to balance out, which ideally is true. However, I wear skinnies all the time and it's just how do you create balance with a skinny jean? And usually it's about wearing a chunkier shoe. Uh, you need to create, you know, just it's, it's all about proportion. So I'm going to show you that in a few minutes uh, because that really has been something that I used to tell clients <laughs> don't wear skinny jeans, but now I tell clients Pretty much everybody can wear skinny jeans. Uh, it's just a matter of how you do it for your body type. So, all right, here's Michelle with her first outfit. Good morning, ladies. So my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to wear is denim. I'm gonna tell you a little story that when I was younger, that I have um, my father who I'm like blessed is still alive that he was very very strict and i had to wear either a dress or a pair of dress slacks and then when i earned the privilege to wear denim i could only wear them once a week so now is being a grown-up i wear them almost every day so they can be really really hard for women to find i kind of relate them to it's like finding a bathing suit the most awful wretched thing but when you find it it's the bomb so I'm going to tell you how I find the perfect denim couple different things is that the piece that I have on right now are by Liverpool and they are <clears throat> excuse me the Abbey crop fringed hem. So, I don't know if all of you can see my cool little fringe. Give yourself a little detail at the bottom so that you're not having to mess with necessarily the length. I am very long-waisted, 
So when it comes to finding a pair of jeans that are going to be high enough for me, most women are going to find what I wear that is at or below my belly button is going to be at your natural waist. So just like what Elle Michelle was saying is that that's how you avoid the muffin top. Is that, yeah, not a good thing. So the ones that I have on, I actually have a size six on, and you wanna make sure that they are above your hip bone. So you're not having that low rise, and that's what, for any of us, you get to that age where you have this affectionately, I call it the squishy, that that's what's gonna create your muffin top. Make sure that you are long enough in what is called the rise. And then we can mess with what is the length and what is appropriate for your stature. So for me is that they call these a crop. For my leg length, they actually are an ankle. I'm okay with that. I've actually learned for years and years that I have embraced the length of my legs is that for so long I got so hung up on nothing was long enough for me it was too short so now I play off that whimsical sign in my style ID of that most times I have some kind of crazy shoes on so that I can play off that shortness that could actually be a detriment in when I'm finding denim so Liverpool is um, a company that I would say is that primarily they are for somebody that is of a straighter fit. I don't have hips and that most of them are going to be higher in the rise and um, depending on what the style is, I've got a couple other ones I'm going to show you, is that you can manipulate the length in it. So the other pieces that I have on is I have the Veronica and Cupro tank. We have this in many, many colors. This is for 68. And then what I've done with my accessory today is that this is actually a scarf that I've tied at the sleeves and created it into a Ruana so that my little arms are covered. And that's what I have for you right now. And Mary Michelle is gonna show you what is next in denim. See you in a bit. Sometimes things start off as a trend and then they transcend into a classic. This is exactly what skinny jeans have done. And it's interesting because when I was looking at the list of what's hot this season uh, with trends uh, in denim, skinnies are like, they're always in style now. If you go anywhere, you are going to find skinny jeans. And there's a reason for that. Skinny jeans have crossed over because we have come to realize that skinny jeans are actually really, really flattering. We carry a lot of skinny jeans and skinny pants in the boutique because we've realized they're very slimming. In fact, I got a note from one of my clients the other day who got some skinny, they weren't jeans, they were pants, but she said, I have to tell you, I have never looked this thin in a pair of pants before. What other colors do they come in? So I see some questions. Hey, Carolyn, good to see you. Oh. Karen says she loves your hair tucked behind one ear. Yay! Oh. So, all right, so the jeans I have on today, these are what I call our classic skinnies, and they're from Beige Floor. They are our Audrey's, which is a very classic cut. I love these because they just feel good. Uh, there is some stretch to them, but they're not real skin tight. So for those of you, maybe you have, as I've heard them refer to, dancer's calves, maybe your legs are a little fuller, maybe you're fuller through the knee, uh, that's where, you know, you might want something that has a little bit more room to it. So, but with the beige floors, in my opinion, what I have seen, hi Jenny, uh, what I have seen is that they are cut for women who have curves. So if you are an hourglass or a pear, beige floors are great for you. And actually, Double L and I had a conversation this morning about, uh, about sizing. I'm a 10, I wear a 10 in beige floors. Uh, she actually can go down to a four. She's usually a six, she goes down to a four. And I think it's because of how she's built. She's a little straighter. I've got a little bit more volume, a little bit more curve. And so it's just a matter of understanding 
What are your considerations? There is no judgment, but when it comes to finding a good pair of jeans, honoring your body and understanding what you have to work with is the first step and saying, okay, this cut is good for me and this cut is not. Now, the other thing I'm gonna share with you, actually my beige floors, these are 178. They're actually made in Greenville, South Carolina, and they're made from recycled water bottles, believe it or not. So they have an eco-friendly aspect. We've carried these since we opened and they're some of our favorites, classic, good denim, built to last. We love the cut. And I gently cuffed mine. So, uh, so they're, they are sort of an ankle, whoops, I just lost an earring. Uh, they are an ankle cut. Uh, I didn't put the little back things on, but my earrings, I love these little earrings. These earrings are Susan Shaw. Hi, Ann. Uh, Susan Shaw, these are 34. Um, of course, I had to wear a, a great scarf. I love a great scarf. Uh, my scarf, I believe, is 28. And I'm wearing a great little tribal v-neck cap sleeve tee, which is 64. Now, my fabulous Liverpool long denim jacket this is our last one. It's a large, it's 129. Long denim, we're seeing a lot of the season. And I love it because if you're tall, sometimes you just want something a little bit longer that's not going to cut you off. Now, one thing I wanna talk about is the rear view. You always wanna be looking at your rear view and checking it out, but you want something to think about pocket size. How big is the pocket and how does it hit you? Because Ladies, if the pockets come down here, no. You don't want the pockets coming way below your rear. Or if they're too small, maybe you're a little fuller through the bottom and your pockets are too small, they're going to make your rear view look more amplified. So you want the pocket to be, uh, what's the word, in scale, in harmony with the size of your derriere. That is the best way to put it. And so look at the pockets because you could have a great fitting pair of jeans, but if the pockets ruin it, either wear a longer top or just, yeah, these dark jeans are awesome, aren't they? They are fabulous. Um, either wear a long top or just find another pair. But pockets can make or break an outfit. And you know, when we were teens, what was the question we always asked? Does it make my butt look good? So you want your butt to look good. Hey, Crystal. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Y'all ready? I'm ready. You ready? All right, bye. <clears throat> so, Chloe Ankle. Everything I have on is by Liverpool. I have one lonely, lonely little denim jacket that is left in an extra small. It needs to go to your house today. So you need to FaceTime me. <clears throat> Call me. You can email us, you can text us, and I'll shop with you. So the denim that I have on, these come in white. They're the Chloe Ankle. And these are a pull-on with a false zipper and a button. And when we first started carrying pull-on, I thought, oh my God, you've got to be kidding. No way am I wearing those. Because I associated pull-on with frumpy. You get the right fit, and you're not going to look frumpy. It's actually going to go from frumpy to very sexy. So make sure that you've got, again, the inseam, and you want to make sure that no muffin top. Make sure that you're up past your hip. Don't go low ride. That we're not 18, 19 years old anymore. We can't rock that anymore. So. Um, ankle pant again is that I'm going to pop that crazy little shoe, whatever it is that you want to use as your accessory. And then the other piece that I have that um, I am actually loving is that this is a Liverpool t-shirt. It comes in navy. I only have this in navy. And then what I did so that you're not, again, looking like a box is that take your little top loop it through your belt loop and tuck it in and then you've made kind of a French twist so that you now have created a waist. Again, we don't do frumpy here, ladies. The other piece that I did is that just to kind of give a little simple 
accessory is that this is one of our pieces that is our piano wire and it's got this tiny little pearl opalescent little stone and the awesome thing about this is that it's magnetic which is a really cool thing so the denim that i have on is the chloe ankle it only comes in white i have several sizes of these and again it's got a little bit of i would say an inch and a half waistband it does have belt loops so it does finish that five pocket look and again like michelle said make sure that your pockets are at your cheeks not below and not above because what that's telling you is that the inseam of your denim is appropriate and i will show you what's next see you in a bit ladies These jeans just feel good. I have to tell you, these, the jeans I just put on, we got in uh, fairly, re actually these were some of the last shipments that we got before uh, all the chaos began. So anyway, what I'm wearing are tribal, and oh my gosh, these, I mean, literally, these feel like pajamas. I'm like, really? These, these are not, I mean, but the beige floors I had on earlier and the other ones I had on that I came in, Wearing were fabulous, but these just, it's the fabric. They feel like pajamas almost. And they just feel really good. Hey guys, hey Stephanie, nice to see you. Hey Donna, hey Melody, hey Sue. Um, so what I have on, these actually are tribal. And I think Double L is gonna wear these in a different wash. Aren't you coming out in the lighter wash? Um, uh, they are a straight leg, which I cuffed one up but they are a straight leg, and I know that straight legs are making a huge comeback this season. So straight legs, to me, have kind of crossed over. In fact, I think they crossed over a long time ago to become a classic, but they kind of go in and out of style, and we have found that a lot of our clients love a straight leg. They're a, well, I'm not gonna say they're a skinnier straight leg. They're a pretty average straight leg, and they are a full-length jean. They are roomy. Uh, and they have a lot of stretch. These, I think, are what Tribal likes to call their dream jeans, and they're only $89. Now, the wash I have on is Midnight. We have these, I believe, in a, a two to a 16, I believe, mm -hmm. and they just feel good. Like, I feel like I could do yoga in these, you know? Let's see if I could do a tree pose. Ah, not in these shoes, but I could. Not in these shoes, but, um, I could definitely do that. Now I've got on my cute little tribal peplum top. This is only 64 and just a super fun little tank style. And I love this open weave. It is quite boxy, so it's better if you have shoulders to wear this. Uh, my cardigan, which is $84, it's from Charisma. It also comes in a beautiful butter color. And it's, as you can see, it's very open weave. So it's a great layering piece to wear when you just want a little bit of coverage. You maybe want to cover your arms, but it's not too warm, which, you know, we, these, I have to say this past week, we have had some fabulous weather. I know the first part of the week, it was a little chilly, but oh my gosh, yesterday was beautiful. And so on a day like that, you want to throw something like this on if you want the coverage, but you don't need the warmth, right? Hey mom. Uh, so $84 for this cardigan and it comes in the butter and the gray. The sizing on these is small, medium, medium, large. And then I also have on my Nakamal earrings. I believe these are 36. I've got these in a couple of different colors, but the beautiful gray, I think I have a, um, like a mauve tone too. So, um, what else? Oh, what I was gonna share with you, when I told you earlier about the pair of jeans that I let go of this morning, I don't know, if, does anybody want to guess what my problem was? Because it, they gave me a muffin top, they gave me a wedgie, they gave me a camel toe. Does anybody want to guess what the challenge was? Why they didn't fit me? If anybody can guess, you might get a prize. But if you don't know, it's because of the rise. Mm -hmm. The rise is basically from here, the, the measurement from the middle of the crotch to where it hits you on your waist, belly button, wherever. The rise was too low. And I will tell you ladies, if you were an hourglass and you have ever felt like you had a muffin top, it's because the rise was not high enough. Now the rise on these jeans 
is is pretty high. Uh, it's not, is it to my belly button? Almost. It's not quite to my belly button. Not mom jeans. They're not mom jeans. <laughs> Uh, but they're high rise, which actually has come to be a very popular rise because when you have curves, it just gives you a slim, sleek line. Think of it this way. If you have curves, if you're say a pear or an hourglass and you have curves and you have something that come, that's a low rise, it cuts you off right where you're widest, right? And all the principles that I teach say that it needs to cut you off, or not cut you off, but come to where you're most narrow. Now, not everything's gonna come exactly to your most narrow point, but when it comes to a point that is more narrow, it is much more flattering. That way you don't get the overhang, the muffin top. And I tell you what, try this, go into your closet and find something you know, if you have curves, find something, hey Carolyn, find something that you know cuts you off and then find something that has a higher rise and see the difference. I mean, literally, it's like a, you know, can sometimes be a 10 pound difference. And this is when I remember growing up, I, well, maybe not growing up, but I remember when I was a teen, I remember having a pair of pants that the ones I got rid of this morning reminded me of. They were cropped pants, they were cut like jeans, they had a low rise, they gave me a muffin top, they probably gave me a wedgie and a camel toe too, who knows. But they were so unflattering. They also hit me at the wrong point. They were crop pants and they hit me at the wrong point on my leg. They hit me at my widest point and so my legs look short and heavy and I looked so frumpy in these jeans. And I used to think, oh, you know, there's something wrong with me. I'm too fat, I'm too whatever, you know, I'm not good enough, all the, all the crap that we tell ourselves. And finally I realized, you know what, there's nothing wrong with me. These are just the wrong pair of jeans for me. And I quickly ditched those. Has anybody ever done that? <clears throat> anybody ever felt that way? I, I, you know, I know I'm not alone and it just is, it's a hard place to be, but when you realize, oh my gosh, it's not about me, it's about the pants or it's about the cut of this thing. That's why at Style Finder, we're so big on, it's gotta fit. If it doesn't fit you, if it doesn't feel good, it doesn't matter because it's not right for you and it's not gonna make you feel good. Does the rise affect whether or not you show the plumber's crack? Yes. yes, absolutely. Yes, no plumber's cracks here. Hey, Jennifer, good to see you. Uh, we're, no, we're not gonna have any plumber's cracks. Yes, the rise, when the rise comes up higher, you don't, yeah, we need to tell all these plumbers to, you know, get some high-waisted dudes, come on. Uh, <laughs> we, but the rise can definitely make a difference. So when it comes up a little bit higher, you bend over, you don't have to worry about showing, as I like to say, all of London and all of France because you're covered generally. I mean, there, there are always exceptions, but generally speaking, that will alleviate the plumber's crack, the, you know, showing your underwear, you know, the thong sticking out, whatever, anything you don't want to show, a high rise, a high rise is flattering on, I would say, almost everyone. I'm sure there's, you know, some people, even Double L, she, you know, she and I are built very differently. I wear a high rise, she mm -hmm. wears a high rise. I think at a certain point, you know, especially in your 50s, you start getting a little extra around the middle. A high rise can help you, can help you to suck it all in and create a smooth effect, which is slimming, which is flattering, and it feels much more comfortable. So, Next up, double that. Okay, so to kind of like segue into um, the plumber's crack is that I have found that for ladies that when you're trying on jeans is that if you are a little hippier and then you have a smaller waist is that that's where when you're finding a pair of jeans that don't fit in your waist but they fit in your hip, is that that's what's creating your plumber's crack. So if you think about how typically men are built, and um, when I think of plumber's crack, I think of um, Wranglers, is that that denim brand is perfect for somebody that is that straight, thicker, cut as and you think about it 
men, cowboy, wrangler, yeah, they're usually straight and they're kind of like a box. So they don't have that ability to fit their hip and their waist. And when they lean over, there's all of London, there's all of France. Anyhow, so there's your tidbit on. You need, we need to find you a pair of jeans that fit your hip and fit your waist. So like Mary Michelle was saying, her and I are built completely differently. But I will tell you is that I have learned that I embrace the higher waist denim. And the other ones that I have on, um, again, are by Liverpool. And I don't want you to think for a minute that that's the only thing that we carry in here is Liverpool for particularly me, but I don't have a lot of size sixes in my darker wash right now. So hence, you're not gonna see a lot of dark wash on me right now. Um, but later on, we will be getting them. So that is something for all of us to look forward to. Anyhow, the white denim that I have on right now is Liverpool. And these are the Abbey ankle. And the Abbey ankle is a zip and a button. So it is a true five pocket basic denim. And again, Liverpool is gonna be, for me, is more of a straighter cut. Again, that I don't have a lot of hip to work with. <clears throat> so again, is that it's gonna fill in and then higher in the waist, <coughs> excuse me, that they're gonna be right below my belly button. So for some of you, being that I am very long-waisted, some of these will come right to your belly button. And then the other pieces that I have on, this is a Liverpool denim stretch jacket with a mandarin collar. And this thing feels amazing longer in length so again is that you can cover your little bottom it's got a little bit of a shirt tail in the back and then i have paired it with the sleeveless veronica m tank these also come in a lighter wash the abbey ankle and then i wanted to be able to show all of you is that you've seen me wearing a lot of white denim so what is the difference well i have a tribal one that is plain pocket. These are gonna have little rivets, just a little design detail. And then I have another one that is a skinny crop and it is going to be, again, a pull-on with a false button <coughs> and then just a plain pocket. So a couple different looks as far as in white denim. And that's, what I have for you right now. And I think Mary Michelle is gonna show you what's next in her denim. Now a question I get asked a lot, can you wear a denim jacket with jeans? Well, it's interesting that there's, there are a million and one different answers to that question. But first of all, I will tell you typically what that's called is a Canadian tuxedo, in case you've never heard the term. I don't know why, I don't, know where that originated but when Al, I thought you said you didn't have the size 6 Liverpool in the blue with the fringe at the bottom. The fringe on the do we have a 6? No I do not. What size was that that you have Al? Oh. In blue? Those are actually Michelle's personal jeans. Oh, she are... had placed a special order so she oh. got the 6 before any of us before they hit the floor. Oh. So sorry Lisa. Hey sorry. Paulina. Yeah no worries. Um, no. Yeah. So anyway, sorry about the confusion on that. Um, so a Canadian tuxedo. But what I like to say is, yes, you can wear a denim jacket with jeans, but don't try to be too matchy. Because if, it try, if you try to be too matchy, it just doesn't work. Now, this jacket with these jeans, I've got on sort of a dark wash jacket by Liverpool. It's $99. I've also got on some great, um, I'm not sure what the wash is. Let's what the wash is. Cape Town uh, jeans. These are actually the Chloe Crop jeans from Liverpool and they're pull-on so they feel so good. And the waist, you see they have a faux button and a faux zip, uh, but they pull on and just, you know, when you have, a have something sleek over the front, 
it just no muss, no fuss, no bulk. It's comfy. You can lounge around the house. You can, you know, do whatever you want to do. And they just feel really good. So one thing that's been a hot trend this season is distressing. Who out there is like so over distressing? <laughs> I'm not a huge fan. I think occasionally it's nice to have a little bit. We really don't carry much in the boutique because I've heard from so many of you that you don't like distressed denim and that's fine. But I will share with you uh, this top. Oh, let me show you my top. So I will share with you my top first. I love this little top. It's a Veronica M. This is the only color and style that comes in. It is a sort of a, a toffee color with black and white. It's $79 and it's got a little tie in front. I've layered it over one of our Elioton tanks just to give me a little, a little something because I'm, I'm tall, I'm long. It's all about proportion, right? So our Elioton tank in the Mocha for $32. Not a fan of distress yet, but Jenny, would you wear these? because these have a raw edge. And so what I've seen is that a lot of people, instead of offering distressing, they're offering a raw edge hem. And I don't know if you could see these or not, but it's just, it's raw. And of course, as you wash them and wear them, it's gonna get a little bit more distressed, not too much more, but I think it's a really nice alternative to distressing. Hey Rita, yeah, the whispering is, is nice. Yeah, the raw edge is, it's a, I'm not gonna, I'm really to say it's elegant. It's like elegant distressing because the full blown distressing, actually, you know what I saw yesterday when I was looking around at some other jeans trends and I might post it because for those of you out in the mud, muddy jeans are hot. Some people are coming out with the, these jeans that look like you have just taken mud and rubbed them all over your jeans. And I thought, well, you know what? If you don't feel like doing your laundry, grab some mud and boom, you're set. I would wear raw if they are long enough. That's the key, Don. You see, I'm almost 5'10". I'm not sure how tall you are. These hit me at a good point. Uh, I did wear my higher, um, what's the word? Whatever, my, my little booties with these, but I would definitely wear some little sandals with them and maybe even cuff them to make them a little cropped. Um, are these mint? Oh, are those colors good for double L? Yes, these would be good for you as in double L. You would wear this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these mm -hmm. colors would definitely be good for your coloring, Lisa. So I love the Elioton, yes. The Elioton tanks and jeans is like, that's just kind of a, I, I hate to say a uniform, but it's almost a uniform. And it's just, then you throw on a little top or a jacket and it's just good. What color is the tank? The tank's like a mocha. Can you see that? It's like a dusty, rosy mocha taupe. Um, it's a little darker than the color that's in the tank, but it's a good neutral and would actually, Lisa, would be a good color for you. So you see the rear view, got the good pockets. I hope, do they make my butt look fat? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so far, none of the jeans I've worn today have given me a muffin top, a camel toe, or a wedgie, and that is a win. Okay, so another pair of white, denim but these are truly a pull on and for myself um personally i would prefer these to be a little bit higher so for you ladies that have that true natural waist and again i'm like a mile long from here to here and then of course my legs and that's all of me in my rectangular shape so with these being that they're a true pull-on, they've got a um, thick set-in elastic waist. I will tell you, they are amazingly comfortable. And these are called Chloe Pull-on Ankle. So again, is that make sure that your pocket is right at your cheek, right in the middle. If it's a little too lower, then you've got saggy, denim on, we need to find you the jean that your bottom is going to fill. Then the top that I have on is actually by Veronica M. And it has a very subtle boat neck that then does a drape. And then it has a tie at the bottom. And I paired it with the, God, get myself back together here, uh, Veronica M. Ruana. 
that has the teals and the blues and yeah I would flip on my little flip-flops and this would be something that I would probably wear to the beach uh, I'm gonna get a little closer and see what kind of comments I have here would I like that top tank in the earring single L hat on yes Lisa you would like those they look let's see love the Elaton tanks okay all right I think that's I think I've answered everybody's questions um, let's see what else can I tell you about these other than they feel delicious and again like I said earlier is that where I wear denim almost every single day is that it's just something that I have learned that I can either dress it up or dress it down there aren't too many places that denim isn't um, that it's pretty much it's acceptable everywhere um, whether it's you're pairing it with an inside scuba pant I'm probably gonna have a denim jacket on is that it's just kind of my go-to fabric and I think we've got Michelle is gonna be next in what is another one of my favorite favorite fits in denim and I'll see you guys in a bit And spots today. Yes, these are actually really cute. They're not my ideal fit. Uh, I'm almost a little too curvy. Double L loves the way these fit. So the pair I have on is actually great if you are a little straighter through the hips and slimmer through the legs. I'm, I'm a curvy girl. So, uh, so they're not, they're cute. Now this is our last pair in these. They're Liverpool. This is a size 10 and they're, they feel good on me. They run a little small, but I think it's just, it's the cut. It's not the size, it's the cut. Now, one thing I'll share with you, actually, how much are these? These are $89 and super cute. We've, um, I don't know if you already saw Double L in the jacket. We do have the matching jacket, but I don't recommend that you wear them together. So, um, you see the little pockets. Now, one thing I want to talk to you about is the thigh. How do your jeans fit in the thigh? Because to me, if you have a pair of jeans that is too tight through here and they start bunching up, now these are, are pretty much as fitted as I would go. If they were any more fitted through here, I would say no. That's a good indicator that they're too tight for you. Now, even if they're skinny and they're meant to be skin tight, you don't want them too tight. So these are very skinny and I love the print, but they're not, again, they're cut for somebody who's a little bit less curvy. We're all different. So we carry a lot of great styles. Um, now my top, this top is a Clara Sun Woo. Actually, let me show you my jacket first. I love this little jacket. This is a tribal, now I'll pull this out because I thought it was cute because it is a faux denim. It looks like a denim fabric, but it is a ponte knit. So it's got some great stretch. It is. 129. What I love about it, it, it is a blazer and it does not have a closure, but it's just, it's got what I call soft structure. If you like something that's got a structured look, but it's soft, say you want to wear a blazer on a conference call. You want to look put together, but you don't want to feel stuffy. This is your jam. Totally. It's a great piece and it just feels really good on. So, but now we'll say this top is not necessarily the best top to layer under a jacket because it has dolman sleeves. I mean, you, you could over something that's a little bit more slouchy, but because of the sleeves, it just gets a little crazy. So, but my top is a Claire Sun Woo, and this has just been super popular. We had these, I think we had these last season and then this season, but what our clients are loving is it's got the fitted band through the waist. It's got a tie that you can, yeah, it's got a little bit of leeway, but you can tie it once, tie it, twice. It's just super simple and it is very um, flattering. But what I've found, a lot of our clients are fuller through the bust. And I know if you have a fuller bust, it could be a little challenging to find tops that work. This has been a very flattering top on our large busted gals. But it also comes in, I've got on the navy, it also comes in black and white. So our, our sizes are a little bit limited in these, but if you like these, um, yes, that blazer is great. If you like these, then they're perfect uh, for your 
look. Now, my necklace is Nacamol. It's $48, and it's got, you see the pretty aqua stones, the green, um, just really pretty. Every, every piece from Nacamol is handcrafted, and it all goes to support families. Uh, they're really good about bringing families together, uh, giving people jobs who would not otherwise have jobs, and helping them stay together with their kids. So I love that. In fact, they, she was telling me a story about how they bring the kids in at snack time because they provide childcare. They bring the kids in for snack time so the kids can have snack with their parents. I'm like, that's huge. You know, especially if, you know, in the conditions that they live in, little things like that make such a difference. So, see, see you in a minute. So Michelle had the darker wash of the beige floors on. Um, and again, is that where to remember is that her body style and my body style shape are very, very different. So for me is that I have a size four on. If I had a size six on, they would be too big in the waist. But this is where when looking at denim, to make sure that proportionally that it works for you. These are actually too short in the rise. Is that where from here to here, and my belly button is right here, okay? Again, I'm long-waisted, but for these to fit me properly, and is that where I'm a little too short, in my waist is that I've got that little bitty little muffin top that's starting to happen. The thing that I do love about these is that investment denim, the feel of these are amazing. I just need to have a different style. So to give you what are the pros and the cons and how do you find that right denim is that we also want to be able to show you is that okay, what does wrong look like so that we know what right looks like? So for me particularly is that, okay, I've got a pocket that is a little bit too low. Again, being that these are shorter in the rise. So for somebody that has, whether it's your true natural waist or your shorter in the waist, in your inseam and in your rise, Beige floor is the fit that you want to have. They um, also is there for somebody that is a little curvier. <clears throat> Being that I am straight is that I would actually size down because I don't have the hip to fill in that space that is going to be for somebody that has more hip and a smaller waist. The things that I did pair it with is that this top is by Boho Chic and love all these little fun colors. And again, is that another piece that is absolutely delicious to have on is our Main Street Faux Swain. And this is in a peach. So again, as that you ladies have seen through the week where I've had this top on with an orange liquid leather, a green liquid leather, and then I also now today paired it with peach because we've got all of those colors going in. So again, showing you how you can build from those building blocks. And that is how Beige Floor, Mean Street, and Boho Chic fit me. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, hang on, I don't think she's ready yet. Let's see. She's gotta put her earring on. This time, let's hope that she puts it back on. It's 